Patrick Mullins lining up another title fight. Every fight now seems to be for a title with Patrick. Won the Commonwealth featherweight title against Eric Odomasi from Ghana, but lost it to Scotland's Scott Harrison up in Glasgow at the St Andrews Sporting Club in January, on the Burns Night Show. Hungarian there throwing a right hand. Both of a common opponent, Frenchman Frankie Leroy. Patrick Mullings did the Frenchman in one round and Borov lost on points to Frankie Leroy, but Sometimes foreign guys like that aren't always as reliable as they would appear. Mullings might just have caught Leroy cold. And Patrick lost a close fight to Michael Aldous for the British title. Won a close fight against Brian Carr at Halifax. And lost it again in a very close fight to... Drew Doherty and a lot of his fights are very very close Patrick quite often doesn't seem to fight a three minute round looks good at the start of the round and lets his opponent back into it got a lot of ability and there is talk of him coming down to bantamweight to challenge Eddie Lewis for the British title Borov getting through to the head. And Borov went the distance with Salim Meshkun, who's known in these parts. 
So it looks a capable enough boxer. Lost to fellow Bulgarian Eva Golikov, but he's really a lightweight. He's boxed a couple of times in this country. Got beaten by Stephen Smith. Nice right there, caught Bulgarian, swung him off balance. Of course, Patrick Mullins always remembered for that great fight with Spencer Oliver. And body shots there from Patrick. And a left there, caught the Bulgarian. The last punch of the fight. Patrick Mullins, nice southpaw lead in the face of the Bulgarian, and again. And Bulgarian pushing Mullins down. Warning ahead there. And going again, caught with a left and a right. So he went forward. Not going to make any friends in Manchester if he uses his head like that. Punching, we got caught there. Right to the body and left to the chin from Patrick Mullins. Taken on the gloves there by Patrick Mullings. <laughs> Referee for this one, Terry O'Connor, former Midlands area heavyweight champion, one of our star class referees. Right to the ribs there from Patrick Mullings. of course for the IBO Intercontinental Super Bantamweight title. IBO one of the well, one of the many organizations but possibly has chances of progressing over the next few years, especially with the IBOF scandal ridden. 
maybe you could suddenly come good. Patrick Mullins in command in that round. There's Dean Powell, trainer, and Mick Williamson, the cuts man, in the corner with him. Things going all right for Patrick Mullings. <laughs> Left there from Patrick Mullings. Looks to have the quicker hand speed. Letting the punches go. again. Patrick Mullins found, has found that a good punch for him. Ogillian trying to come back with body shots of his own. And Borov has obviously boxed at featherweight. Probably for most of his career, so it'll be interesting to see if 8 stone 10 is his true weight, whether he's had to work really hard to get down to it, maybe that he's had to take on feather weights to get work. And if he's had to struggle to make the weight, those body shots will soon weaken him. throw some punches. All the, the decent work is coming from the Harrow man. to the body from Patrick Mullins. And Patrick went to a bit of his shell there towards the end of the round, but certainly did enough in the first two minutes.
four and Patrick Mullings looking to have won the first three rounds making the, the move so far in this fourth round. And those body punches from Patrick Mullings. He probably think he's getting a reaction from Borov. Left, right, right and on the jaw of Borov. Of course, Borov trying to protect his body. And Mulling switching cleverly to the head. Body punches again from Patrick Mullings. What off? Seems to be taking them all right. But of course, if Patrick Mullings can keep working way to the body, then switch to the head and catch Borov unguarded. Right there from Borov. Going to have sore ribs for the next few days. Patrick Mullins keeps this up. And pretty one sided round there. Patrick Mullins working well, swooping in some good body punches. of losing his shorts. Certainly in great danger of losing this fight. <laughs> really the Bulgarians got to try and gamble and try and push Patrick Mullings back and Patrick Mullings very comfortable at the moment. Finding the Bulgarian certainly not an elusive target. And the 
but I've got Mullings in the corner. But Cash's little run did. No, Mullings content to stay in the corner. Probably, possibly trying to lure Borov in, but... Warning, Borov, his head. Again, good fast punches from Patrick Mullings. Dangerous with the head there, brought off. Patrick Mullins complaining. I think he was justified. And that's possibly going to arouse. Oh, nice lefts there. Two good lefts. Patrick Mullins. Bit annoyed. Quite justifiably so. With brought off being dangerous with his head. Services are required. That's Philippe Fondue in the corner, leaning over the rope. Bulgarian unmarked. Patrick Mullins just standing there, taking most of those on his gloves and arms. And now going to work himself. his punches together again starting with body punches
And that comes brought over the right of his own. Patrick Mullins gone into his shell again a little bit so far in this round. Sometimes it's all too easy and you get a bit bored hitting your man. Certainly would be interesting to see if Mullins can get down to Bantam weight and challenge A.D. Lewis. Again, that head, a bit dangerous. And a left from Mullins, just probably on its way just as the bell sounded. Second half of the contest and Patrick Mullins well and well in front. And really you would have to say that this would be better as an eight three minute round contest rather than 12 threes. In fact, it wouldn't be a bad idea if those intercontinental titles were reduced from 12 to 10 rounds. Scoring with two lefts. And bought off. Certainly can't be faulted in the effort department. Always trying, but doesn't have the all-round ability of Patrick Mullings. Can Mullings Produced the punch, punches that stopped Frankie Leroy in the first round. One's not really holding the crowd's interest. <laughs> Left and right getting through from Patrick Mullings. Left here, caught. Put off on the jaw and again. But really, Borov's never looked like going down.
got five rounds to go. So unless Patrick Mullins can really step on the gas and force a stoppage, looks like this is going to be one point twelve for Mr. Mullings. And I really think that had this been an eight three minute round contest we would have had enough by the end of the eighth round. And Mullings has stopped working to the body, got a left right through Borov's guard, landed in his face. Patrick Mullins needs to step it up and keep the crowd interested. Oh, it's Borov on the attack now. But he doesn't look a natural puncher. But credit to him anyway. He's well behind on points, but still in there trying. That's first body punch Patrick Mullings thrown and landed for a few rounds. Well, it seems like a few rounds. Shoulder work now from the Bulgarian being picked up by Terry O'Connor. Obviously, it'd be, be more dangerous if he was using his head. that round. Mullings has got to step this up. Allowing Borov to go forward now. And see, he stopped punching to the body, Patrick Mullings. And that was a good punch, it was serving him well. As it was landing, and then Borov was lowering his defences to guard against it. It was allowing Patrick to switch to the head. South Paul Eden 
Borov's face and a left there got through. Last hands of Patrick Mullins. He got caught with a the right there. What's this bout being beaten right across Europe on Eurosport? You wouldn't think it would have the viewers glued to their screens. about it. Patrick Mullings is well in front but he's just eased back on the pressure a bit these last few rounds. of counting down the rounds, three rounds to go. And not really too many incidents or any highlights in the last three or four rounds. It's lost a bit of its intensity. And Patrick Mullings well, it's really a bit incumbent on him. He's the home fighter. He's the one that the crowd have come to see. He's the one that needs to entertain them. That one just straying too far round the corner from Patrick Mullings into the kidneys. Well, Borov having some success in this round. Might sting Patrick Mullings into action, which it does. on the attack now, rocking Borov's head back, 
some accurate punches. Again, uppercut getting through. Oh, it's turning the crowd into life. Lorov holding on. Patrick Mulling stepped it up a bit in this round. Not that he's in any danger of losing the, the contest. Well, that was a clear round for Patrick Mullings. Penultimate round, Borov getting through with the right. <laughs> Mullings, the more accurate puncher, getting through with shots of his own now. rights to the body getting through Mullings in the corner and quite willing to take the shots. This one being watched by Noel Wilders, the IBO bantamweight champion of the world. Again, of course, Mullings would have to get down to bantamweight and possibly box A.D. Lewis and the winner might find themselves in line to meet Mr. Wilders at some point in the future. Going through some decent shots. A lot of on the move. Again, that nice body punch there from Patrick Mullings. Again, the quality punches coming from Patrick Mullings in this round.
final round and Patrick Mullins I'm sure has got a substantial lead in all three judges scorecards and you'd have to say that Barov needs a knockout and he's all credit to him trying to accomplish that although he's shown nothing in the previous 11 rounds to suggest he has the power to stop Patrick Mullings Mullings had the Bulgarian here just retreating a little bit after taking that left hand but I think this one looks to be going the full route Flipping right. And Wallings for him to keep his head up. Really doing the same again. trying to land a big punch but doesn't look to, to be all that much in the power department And warning to keep the head up for Patrick Mullings. so far you really wouldn't like to see Borov get stopped now he is getting caught again staggered it's all over yeah correct decision from Kerry O'Connor well, you have to say Patrick why didn't he do that a bit earlier the judges scorecards all made redundant in that final round that's Patrick Mullins now 22 and 5 a bit of sympathy for the Bulgarian having gone so far
I just say, just disappointment for the Bulgarian. They say, just unfortunate with a second to go, but it was the correct decision from Terry O'Connor. He was unsteady on his legs, taking punches.